Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Geminis for February 7th through the 11th. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general forecast. So if you do want more of a personal message, my website to book me will be listed below. I do have a three question reading sale going on for 2222. So if you're a new client, that's definitely going to be a good way for you to test out my readings and get you one so that you can, you know, get some answers to your questions. Also, if you want to see the extended version of this message, it will be posted on my Patreon. The direct link to check this video out will be listed below in the description box as well. And let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. The first thing we're going to talk about is the overall theme for what you guys are just going to be experiencing for the next couple of days. So with the action card being the first card, this is letting me know that you guys are really going to be taking the steps forward to make things shake, especially if you've been tired of the same old, same old cycles, um, just being bored with life even, um, and just feeling as if like, for some reason, things have been stagnant. You're going to take the necessary action to shift things, whether this is, you know, getting a second source of income if money's slow. For some of you, this could be in your love life where you've been like, look, I'm tired of being single. It's time for me to meet someone. This is putting the steps forth to actually meet someone. Whatever has been lacking in your situation for some time, you guys are going to be an acknowledgement of that. And you guys are going to be taking the steps, like I said, to shift things into your favor. Um, also there will be a lot of fast movement in regards to your career. So this is you guys having to jump on that. And like I said, make sure you don't miss opportunities that could be very valuable in the future. Now, when it comes to the energy you guys were encountering uh, a couple of days ago, I do have the woman holding a heart card. We also have the death card in reverse. So for my women out there, I'm definitely getting a sense that my Gemini's, my, my female Gemini's, you were definitely in a space of trying to figure out where your heart was at with a connection. Yes, you felt connected to this person, but you may have felt like there was just a lot of things that needed to be addressed in your relationship, things that were not changing, especially with the death card in reverse. This is like changes that needed to happen that were not taking place, whether that's like you guys finally getting a place together or you guys taking the relationship to the next level. You could have felt like this person as an individual was not changing and not, you know, shaping up to be the person you thought they were going to be. Yeah, King of Pentacles in reverse, they may have not had their responsibilities together. And now it's putting you in a space of having them be dependent on you. This could be an earth sign in Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Don't take this personally if it's not one of those signs you're a cross watcher watching it. Okay, this is what I'm seeing. This could also be a Scorpio. For some of you as well, you also may have been trying to figure out what career you felt connected to from a heart space, regardless of the gender that you're under. This is you trying to figure out, okay, what is going to make me feel emotionally content when I wake up and not that I'm just doing a job. Okay. Especially if things have not been changing in that arena where things have just been overly stagnant and just, it's the same old, same old. A lot of you, the financial aspect started to not really mean that much to you anymore. Cause it's like, things are just not what I want them to be. It's not balanced. And for some of you karmically, you may have not been in the right place. That's why and you could have felt that energetically. Now, when it comes to what I'm seeing for what you're dealing with in this time frame, for now until the 11th, I do have the hostilities card and I also have the two of cups in reverse. So this is like defensive energy coming from somebody who you're dealing with in love. They could be coming off very just like stuck up on edge every time you're having a conversation with them, whether that's on the phone or in person just ready to jump on like, oh, well, like trying to argue back with you. This could also be you guys acting a little defensive, especially with the two of cups in reverse. If a relationship here is not getting to a point to where it's either committed or it's balanced, you're really getting to a point of being frustrated and it could be making you put your guard up in regards to this person. Clarifying that I do have the King of Swords. Yeah. So for some of you, this could be you coming off a little hostile and ready to, you know, yeah, King and Queen. So for a lot of you, you also may be in some sort of soulmate 
relationship and then it's making you guys both marry each other in some cases but there's definitely some hostility energy coming up um in a job sense for a lot of you like I said this is very determined energy you guys are going to be very focused to get the bag or very focused to get past any sort of rough patch you may be in and if anybody gets in your way you guys definitely are going to have something to say about it and you will not let that happen here especially with the two of cups in reverse you feel like things have been too imbalanced for too long and you guys are going to try to shift that in this time frame and also make sure you guys are having a balanced approach with work and work and play or work and home so that you're not imbalanced in that arena as well. But what I am seeing for the advice I can give you, I do have the contract card clarified by the seven of pentacles. And this is making sure that you guys, again, are being balanced in your perspective. Now, looking at things from just a heart or emotional aspect more of a logical or a more of a balanced perspective, not more from the heart or not more from what you logically feel is right, but more in, in between where it's what your heart is telling you to do and what your mind is telling you to do. I hope that makes sense. But having a balanced perspective, also making sure as well that you're allowing karma to do its job and not trying to like beat the odds or mess up the work that your spirit guides are doing behind the scenes with the seven of pentacles if you've been putting that work in your spirit guides are working on things behind the scenes for you to bring some some really good opportunities your way karmically it's just making sure you guys are not standing in their way here okay um and also focusing too much for a lot of you you need to stop focusing too much on things you can't change that happened in the past with the six of cups in reverse this is a bad bad prob okay bad problems what this could be bad memories of things that may have happened in the past and you guys keep replaying them and that's what's keeping you from moving forward yeah especially with the chariot in reverse so if this is like old friendships from your childhood you keep trying to go back to <clears throat> old relationships somebody who you may have kids with all of that stuff has to stay in the past not the kids or anything like that, but just the relationships that didn't work out. Now, what I am seeing for the obstacles that may come up in the next couple of days, I do have the sun card and I also have the queen of pentacles. So this could be you feeling very. OK, there could be issues with you feeling content with either a Leo in your life or an earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. This person used to make you really, really happy, but there may be issues with this person getting their money situation in order, especially if you guys are trying to move or something like that. You could be fed up with them. Others of you, you could be feeling like um, you're realizing that your person is just very dependent on you in some cases, or there's issues with you getting the stability that you guys would like, and it's making you emotionally feel down in some cases. Yeah, for some of you also, the issue may be that you guys are staying stuck to um, a job or something that you're doing financially, even though your heart's not at it or your heart's not in it, but you want to move on, but you feel like you can't because financially you need it. That That's what I'm seeing here. But moving forward for the outcome of what you guys are going to be experiencing, I do have the anxiety card clarified by the Hierophant. So you guys may be feeling a little anxious in regards to a marriage or a relationship where things may be needing to be more um, structured or balanced. Um, for some of you, I'm hearing you're having anxiety in regards to like a corporation. This could be like a, a judge. There could be like a court case going on for some of you. For some of you, you may be coming into a space of like being more spiritual. You may feel like people at your church may judge you. That's another thing I'm hearing. But a lot of you, you just have a lot of anxiety in you getting things under control in some sort of relationship. You want to heal things or you just want to move past this point because with the nine of pentacles in reverse, you almost feel like you, you can't be without them for some of you or you being without them has been really depleting you. Yeah, for a lot of you, oh shit. With the devil card, it's either you guys are super tied to this person or this person's tied to you like God knows what, 
Okay. Somebody cannot live without the other person almost like this shit is crazy. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Five of cups in reverse. It's like you guys are trying to come out of this space of being stuck on the past. Um, or stuck on things that went wrong in the relationship. And for some of you, like I said, you're, you're tied to this person's hip. Whenever I see the devil card, this is like tied, like beyond tied and the nine of pentacles in reverse shit. Somebody does not want to be without the other person. So we're going to finish this off on the other side. Like I said, this is just a little overview. We're going to look more at your love life and go through this full spread I laid out for you. So if you want to check that out, it's only $5 for you to join. And then you get to see the rest of the messages for the whole entire month. Um, it's $10 for a two card pull every two weeks. So if you're interested in that as well, you can sign up for that. Um, or you can upgrade your package to get that two card pull. And then as soon as you sign up, you send me your Zodiac sign, you will get the two card pull and I'll give you the messages for the next two weeks. So if you're interested, everything will be below and I will see you over there. Bye, Geminis.